Welcome to Brisak, Germany and looking over the town here and now looking towards the Rhine River over here where our cruise boat is docked and the main thing we're checking out here is this beautiful old cathedral don't know much about it in terms of its age or when it was built but this is called St. Stephen's Mutes let's see St. Stephen's Munster so I thought we'd take a minute and look at the rocks that make up um, this area because quite a bit of stone was used in this construction. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey uh, here on a trip with my wife on the Rhine River. Today is our last full day on the river cruise and then we fly back and we're here in Brisach, Germany. But I thought we'd take a minute to look at some of the rocks that make up some of the walls and maybe we'll get to the, the base of the walls down low where we can see uh, some of the native stone over here. Um, we can see actually across the way here, there's an old kind of fortress wall sitting on some of these darker rocks that make up some of this topography here. And so we'll go over there and check that out. I haven't been over there yet. So, but I guess the first thing we can check out here is some of the walls of uh, around the cathedral here. And definitely some of these dark colored uh, volcanic rocks that kind of have caught my eye. Again, not sure. I'm sure. I'm assuming these are mostly locally derived, possibly even the stone that the cathedral sits on. We can see some big, um, looks like these are hornblende crystals in this grayish rock here. Um, another one here and here. And then there's other ones I've seen that have more in the way of vesicles and gas bubbles in them. A little bit darker one here. And then the matrix used here has a lot of these rounded pebbles in it, which I think we'll see when we look at some of the other blocks here. So these volcanic rocks make up some of the local stone that they've used. And then if we head over here to the actual walls of the cathedral, looking up at it here, um, the thing that popped out at me here was the some of the cross bedding that you might be able to make out in some of these tan, mostly kind of pebbly sandstone blocks. So if you look at these up close, you can see there's pebbles of quartz and larger material. The grain size in the sandstone though is uh, quite large. Again, some of the cross bedding in here. Um, and then over here, I think we saw little different color so this tan unit i guess is sort of the second different rock we've seen besides the volcanic one and then along the base of the cathedral there's these pink and kind of yellowish sandstones and these are similar to what the sandstones we've seen throughout germany and eastern france um i think these are permian in age so this looks like it could be very much like those mostly kind of a medium to coarse grain sand and in places in the other places i've seen this you can sometimes see pebbles um, sticking out so probably some sort of fluvial deposit um this one's a little bit different here kind of a greenish gray or fine grained unit not sure what this one is but kind of interesting and then, of course, we get to the volcanic uh, blocks themselves that have been quarried, which these ones look a little bit more like true basalts or similar with the vesicles, the gas bubbles in them. This one's somewhat brecciated, broken up and fragmented. So quite possibly a product of a more explosive volcanic eruption that produced that type of rock. Um, so let's just maybe check out a couple other rock types here more of the breccia here again you can see these big chunks embedded together and i mean from the looks of it it looks like there was maybe different stages of construction you can see here the left side is mostly the sandstone blocks while the right side the darker part of this wall has more of the volcanic rocks so it's a bit of a mixture in places, but then there's places where it looks like there's maybe different phases or stages of construction. Here's more of the 
pebbly sandstone with the larger uh, clast sticking out here. And then apparently they used um, some sort of stucco for m much of the walls here. So this is mainly uh, synthetic stucco. Uh, more of the cross bedding in these pebbly sandstones here. More of the red or pink and yellow sandstones. Some interesting little divots there. Who knows if those are like from like cannonballs or gun rounds or something. Just um, I'll have to read more up on, on this specific uh, cathedral and some of its history. Pretty fascinating. But I just wanted to share a little bit of the geology I've seen in the walls here. We'll walk up to one more spot and then I'll maybe add on a little bit more if we get down to the base of the hill and are able to look at some of the rocks and outcrop there. Yeah, but just more, now it's kind of transitioning more like into a conglomerate. Big pieces of quartz and chert. You can see how rounded some of these are here. Uh, and then this is really a pebbly sandstone here. So again, most likely uh, fluvial deposits, maybe like alluvial fans, and not sure exactly uh, of the age of it. Renovation 1989 to 2011. So they've apparently done some work in restoring it. So, okay, well, let's see if we can find some other interesting things out here in this cute little town. So I've worked my way down to the foot of the hill where the cathedral sits, but apparently it looks like they've covered the outcrop, the rock itself with some, um, I think it's shotcrete, this like coating um, that kind of covers a rock and the pore spaces and such, keeps it kind of held together better with mass wasting and that. So unfortunately, not able to look at the actual uh, outcrop that defines the base of the hill, but uh, if I had to guess the dark rock we've seen, the volcanic rocks, I believe, uh, comprise the, the core of this hill beneath the beneath the cathedral. So, and it's raining now, as you can see. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this little brief excursion here in Brisach, Germany, and looking at some of the cool rocks that make up this cathedral. Thanks again, and take care.